I'm speaking live at the Milton Moscow English Language Teachers Association and I've done a 30 minute presentation on the use of Kahoot, which is like an interactive game in the classroom to teach English. Hello, my sister, how are you? Yeah. Oh, there's a light on, so there we go. I start in about three minutes, I think. So, good luck to me.
that's not me, that's... That's mine, Bluetooth. <laughs> one, if you want to use the Bluetooth one, you can, it's loud. Uh, it's okay. I'm trying to get the speakers. You don't want to, leave it alone. Okay. That'll do, we'll play jump, shall we? <laughs> I could go to the Beatles. <laughs> oh, yes. I love the Beatles, love the Beatles, love the Beatles. I love John Lennon's image. <laughs> ah, there we go. No. It's not coming from this. Okay. Oh, no, no. I'm I'm so mad. 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 I'm Oh, oh dear. there we go. Okay, he's asked him. Oh, no. Yeah. I've got wipes then. You need some wipes? Sure. Okay, let's get some wipes. Um, okay. Never mind. Oh, I can go with that. It's not really nice. Um, I'm sure there's good Bluetooth. I can connect it. It's not fun. Yeah, you know that. Technician. Never mind. We'll just, it's, it's not important. I'm going to get the sound. I think it's good sound. You need sound. Good sound. Yeah, good sound would be good. Oh, yeah. Sound would be good. I need to get him right now. And, yeah, yeah. That's good. Actually, I'm late already, so it's just about five minutes to do this. But does it show, like, the speakers have connected or anything? Because, so, like, there's usually some sort of pop-up when the sound's like... No. I don't know, the technician came this one. Well, not quick as he came, so I don't know what he did, so... Never mind, we'll just do it from the speaker. Sorry. Never mind. Well, she's a natural born. Normally it comes through the projector. Well, normally there's a speaker for the projector. Ah, yeah. Never mind. I don't know, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't even like the video.
Yeah, I filter it, but uh, yeah, I do. No, I filter my own. <laughs> Okay, I'm not sure whether we should start. We're already five minutes late, and I know this is a. On his app, there's a lot of schedules coming on. We're going to skip the schedule, otherwise, everything falls behind, and by the end of the day, everybody's attending a lecture at 10 o'clock at night. So, I don't want to do that. So, I shall start now. If latecomers in, they can join. But what I will say to begin with, in order to take, this is a, an immersive session, so you need to take part. I'm asking for act, uh, um, participation from the audience. Um, so, unlike the normal, you'll need a smartphone. Do, has everybody got a smartphone? Yeah, everybody got phones with them? Okay. If you've not got your own 4G or 3G, you can log on to the HSA guest network on your, on your Wi Fi login and the password as well. Is no, they're not working. No. HSC password. It's the password and HSC guest. You'll get the full benefit if you can uh, log on and take part in the session. <coughs> Let's see if the uh, sort it out. It's just this one here, yeah? Guess and password. It's not, um, obviously it's limited. Mm -hmm. You should get, I've, I've tested myself this morning and it's quite fast enough for you to do the, the activities that I'll be asking you to do in the session. Second, I'll just, just sort out the sound because it will also help with the sound. So, um, thank you very much for coming today. It's a lovely Saturday day. It's autumnal. We should be out with our kids in the parks yes. or down the shopping malls or at a bar, a restaurant. But I thank you all for coming today to, uh, to see um, this debate and also to find out what's current in the current technology world of English language here in Moscow. I thank Malta as well for giving me the opportunity to pass on my knowledge and my experience that I hope you'll take away today with you. And maybe, well, I really do hope that you'll implement in your lessons. Moving on. So today I'm going to talk to you about, I hope, cahoots. Cahoot. Anybody heard of the word cahoot? Put your hands up, you know cahoot. No? You've heard, heard the word cahoot? Okay. I just heard it on, on the plenary. On the plenary. Okay, that's good. And I don't know this, but I uh, can't talk. Okay. I can't uh, see the article on the Good, thank you very much. I can tell you that Kahoot is like the Google of this world. It's like taking the world by storm. It is growing exponentially. And every time I meet a teacher and I show them this, they go, oh my God, wow. And they go home. And before you know it, it's in their classroom and all the school has it and it's going like wildfire. So I hope today you'll take away and be enthused by using this. Um, so we're talking about using Kahoot in order to boost learners' engagement. And, and uh, so that they can use the current zeitgeist, which is for gaming and for interaction and 24-7 uh, connection, in order to improve their English as efficiently, as quickly as possible. But before I talk about the who, let's talk about me. Two minutes, because it's important to know where I came from and how I came to discover Kahoot and why it works for me and my school. That's me, I'm Michael Lang. There's been happier days. <laughs> I'm a general director of a small English language centre here in Moscow. We're called A A A Anglici Anglican. Um, there's our logo, and I'm also a Kahoot Gold certified uh, user, which means I've done a three-hour course for Kahoot. So I know a bit more than, than I would have done if I just do it as a teacher. But it's worked really well for me and also my school. So who are we? My school itself, as I say, small language centre, 300, 300 students a year. We've got two places, one in the centre of Moscow, the 
by Tretikovsky Gallery and one out on Rubyovka. Um, but we've got three USBs, and this is important because it, it will show you again how we came to use games in our lessons. First of all, we use native speaking teachers. Secondly, we have very small class sizes. But the final, more important, is we have technology in the classroom. Since the school was set up 10 years ago, and next year will be our 10th anniversary, we put smart boards in our classrooms. And to begin with, of course, we were just using BBC and video and films. Very useful, and of course, the kids were on the board writing um, and very interactive. But it's only in the last two years since the advent of Kahoot and other gaming platforms it's really taken off. So with technology in our, in our classrooms, we've used smart boards, of course, as I said. Another function, another very important element of this is the ability to have internet into your classrooms. Our eight classrooms all have internet connections, which means that we can uh, plug into the network quickly, and that means we can bring in BBC and YouTube and use the same material in order to enable our students to hear the vernacular as native speakers would use it on a day-to-day -day basis. We also import films, of course, live streaming net, uh, with Netflix and other things um, in order to allow our students to, again, have discussion groups and filming. So the internet's really been useful for us. Presentations and web links. But the final thing that's really taken off for us has been the institution of, of the ability to use games and gaming in our classrooms. Games, very tricky issue. Students shouldn't be having fun in classrooms. They should be learning grammar. <laughs> what are they doing having fun? Why are they smiling in our classrooms? <laughs> grammar, that's what we're here to do. That's what they taught me at college, and that's what I've come to do. I think that for us, of course, it's shown that by plugging into the... to how children are being educated nowadays, 24-7, 24-7 exposure on their smartphones, they're on the metro, they're on the buses, they're on the streets, they're doing their homework now. So it's amazing if you can use that and grab that and take it into the classroom, you'll find that the students love you. And who was a teacher doesn't want to be loved? That's why I came to be a teacher. I love to be loved. And you see, not only do they love you, but they really want to do the work. So let's use all the tools, all the bells and whistles, and maybe some degree condom, who knows, whatever you look at it, but they use it to, to, to fool themselves in, oh, this is a game, this is a game. But indirectly, they're learning. And that's really number one. Come on in, come on in, come on in. So for those that just arrived late, sorry about that, we're, um, we're talking about Kahoot and the use of gaming in the classroom. Um, if you have smartphones with you, please log on. Um, you'll need a smartphone to take part in the session. There's the login. If you don't have 4G, you can use the, the HSC network. There's the guest password and uh, sorry, the guest login and the guest password, HSC password. No space, lowercase. So gaming. Gaming has really taken off for us in our lessons. And um, there are some, I know there's a couple in the audience who will, will uh, testify to this. By using gaming at the end of the lesson, wow, they love doing that grammar. They love doing that vocabulary. They love doing those exercises because they can see a reward at the end. But it's not just about putting it at the end as a reward, a little sweet tea or something. If you can integrate it into your lesson, um, then you'll find that um, the lesson, it looks like a seamless lesson. And children will enjoy it. Students, and just don't get me wrong, it's not just children that love this. All students love this uh, type of approach. To um, And I know that, uh, of course, we've been teaching older students, adults, maybe even pensioners who are looking to retire to the UK, maybe not so much now, but somewhere else. Um, of course, they need English, and of course, this is another way to uh, make it fun and engaging for the students. So... <clears throat> The one I'm talking about today is Kahoot, but there are other platforms out there as well, guys, you can use. <coughs> quizzes. Oops. There's one, quizzes.com. Royden, have you heard of quizzes.com? No, we just got Quizlet. Okay, quizzes.com is another, another derivative of, and I find that quizzes actually has more drill down information, it's more serious than, than Kahoot. Okay. So I recommend looking at it. So there's quizzes.com, 
Roy did just mention Quizlet.com, which is another uh, platform. This one, however, unlike Kahoot and Quizzes, which is more individually based, Quizlet is more inclusive as a team-based exercise. And you'll find that the students love to break into little teams, and they form and they fight each other, mentally of course, uh, in order to win the prize. And um, it's a great fun way to enhance team spirit in your lessons, Quizlet. And of course there are individual uh, platforms out there, ESL Games and Games Online also enable your students to do individual learning outside the lesson. But you can incorporate them as well into your lesson um, <clears throat> in order to enhance the process. But today's what I want to talk about is Kahoot. So, Kahoot, let's have a quick look at the reaction of the normal students to this type of platform. Kahoot in action. <laughs> Kahoot, as we can see from the developers of the platform, Kahoot is a game-based learning platform that's designed to make learning fun, founded on social, play and learn. As I said, in our experience using Kahoot now for over a year in the school, we've seen the uh, learning process got uh, easier and easier and students really want to attend the lessons and they want to do their homework. And I'll show you a secret how to do that at the end of the lesson, how to make them do their homework. So let's have a look at the platform itself, and let's switch over to the internet. So this is Kahoot, and uh, this is what it looks like, and I'm just going to log in, okay, and that's me logged in. Okay, um, Kahoot, as I said, has grown like wildfire in the last two years, and there are hundreds of thousands of English exercises out there, hundreds of thousands of games, and it's not just English, you can use it for CLIL stuff as well, uh, language integrated learning, so you can use it for looking at geography in English, history in English, these are all being created by native speaking, uh, native speaking students and teachers in order for us to utilise and make the lesson more fun and engaging, not just doing grammar and vocabulary games and other things. So um, I actually have one set up for us. Uh, set up a quick game. So what I need you all to do is to log on. Everybody got access to the internet. Everybody got a smartphone? Who's got smartphones? Yeah, those are happy. If you haven't, then share with somebody so they can look over your shoulder. And the first thing I need to do, I'm just going to set up the game. This, this literally, I took a game off the internet, adapted it, it took me five minutes, and now it's ready to go. So we're going to do a play on this one. Okay. <clears throat> you'll see, a, uh, you'll go to a website, uh, the website will be here now. One second, let's just set it up. <clears throat> okay, so here we are connecting to the Kahoot from the cloud. And there is our ping. You should see on Kahoot.it is the web address. A -A -A Kahoot.it is the web address you need to go to. And then it'll come up with asking you to enter the pin number. Let's have a look at that one. That's it, yeah. So enter that in the center. Okay. And then it'll ask you for a name. Name. Now, normally, you can do two ways of entering a name. You can ask the student to enter their own name, or they can make up a funny name. 
In my experience, in classroom, that can take nearly five minutes, and that can waste teaching time. So I've set it up so you just choose a name from the system generated for you. So if you don't like your name, you can spin it. Is there anybody in already? Who are you not? Okay, who are you not? Okay, is it Peter Lee? Okay, my achievements. Is everybody in? Okay, so we've got, got 13 players at the moment in the room. Anybody else want to join? Okay, I'll give you another 30 seconds. Please, yeah, please. Any more want to join? I've got a prize for the winner. T-shirt. Hey guys, 25. Any more? Any more want to take a car? Yeah? 25. Okay, I'll give you a 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Yeah, Chichiri, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, here we go. Let's start the game. Eight questions. Are you ready? The internet. What is your teacher's name? Michael Lamb. Oh. But there are some answers. So yeah, just hold on. Hold on, yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, choose the next who's paying attention in my class. Okay. Question number two. Okay, what does your teacher teach? Your teacher teaches. Let me know what we think. What do we think? What do we think? on that. Um, yes, I'd love to teach Chinese cooking. I think that's my ambition. <laughs> to retire, I will teach Chinese cooking, but at the moment I'm going to do English, of course. And George is that from but Aaron's catching and Royden. Oh, I should ban the natives from this. No, no. <laughs> okay, now, Thornia question. Oh my gosh. Why is he Japanese? Somebody's joined the game. Somebody got 27 last night. Somebody's in. Yeah, I am from the UK. As if you couldn't guess. Okay. Aha. Aha. Oh. Oh. What? what do you think? Okay. Next one. <clears throat> what hobby do I do? I'm a teacher, remember? What teacher what do teachers like to do after work?
I do? I have a 12-hour day to so go home and do some co Chinese cooking, and then I go to bed. Okay. So, George up front. Vacation, vacation, vacation. run out 30 seconds here it stopped as soon as all 28 answers are in the game stops and the answer is given so it's important you get all the students to take part if they're in, if they're in the game they have to carry on they can't stop out because it's, it stops the game flow okay like a game of football between England and Russia okay next one what is not true about this teacher what do we think But I've never met the Queen of England. Really? No, there's 60 million of us. We don't get to meet her very often. <laughs> She's at home. Okay, so last question. Here we go. Who's in the league? George. Olga's catching. Olga's got, what's it, 140 points behind. Where are you, Olga? Adrian's in the hot seat. Oh, Olga, okay. <laughs> so, an Adrian, yeah, this one here Trump means he's had seven questions on the trot. Well done, okay. Last question, I think, guys. Here we go. I'm excited about the start of the new school year. What's the, oh, what's the feeling out there? What do we feel like? Yeah. Okay, so let's see who the results are, who are the winners, and the winner was George! George! Good picture! Give us second place, Olga! Okay, and third place was Adrian! Can I do it? Sorry, good job! Unfortunately, my time's up already. We've got to cut it. So, it's been a brief introduction to you guys. This is the for future for lessons in class. If you can just integrate them at the back end of your lesson, that's a start. But then move them into your lesson. Think about the grammar. Put the grammar up there. And there's one thing also, I'll tell you, it's a secret. You can set this as a challenge for homework. The kids go home and do homework. And instead of them saying, Oh, my dog ate the homework. My, my cat peed on it. Oh, oh. It's now, my dad wouldn't let me on the computer. He was playing Kahoot! So it's really good. You really get some engagement from the students. And you see their learning capacity goes through the roof. Really recommend it, guys. Do some cues. Thanks so much. Okay, so who's next? Okay. Um, Just a secret.